as if the dope was the cause of the money and the cause of his issues, when the reality is it wasn't. This had been going on for a long time, and the finances proved differently. But what else about this? You've seen the interviews. And we're going to play some clips of these interviews, but I'm not going to play them all for you again. You've watched them. But if you have any questions, go back and watch them. He talks about being paranoid. Listen, watch those interviews with, when he's with Dave Owen. He's, he doesn't look like he's withdrawing from any drugs. His, his responses are appropriate. He's, he's uh, not in, in displaying any paranoia. He's smooth. He's focused on the events. He's focused on trying to get information about the case from law enforcement officers, which is interesting in its own right. Why is he so focused on that? And in Savannah, where supposedly he was detoxing, he sat down, as you've heard the testimony, with a composite, composite sketch artist and went through the whole process to come out with this picture, which I swear is not me. How do you do that? How do you do that if you're on that much dope? So why did he tell you that, ladies and gentlemen? Why did he look you in the eye and tell you that as he sat there on that stand trying to explain what was going on? It's interesting also... in August 11th, before we get to the side of the road, that he mentions that Paul was a little detective. That's very interesting for him to mention that because you heard from Marion Proctor, Maggie's sister, that Maggie called Paul that, the little detective, specifically in reference to Paul paying attention and trying to keep Alec from taking pills. Why would he bring that up? That's an interesting thing to bring up because that was what that was in reference to. And what do we know? We know that in May, if we talk about all the pressures that are coming upon him, all these financial things that we've talked about, this exhausting hamster wheel that's been going on forever, the need to beg, borrow, and still stay one step ahead, and he's running out of options there. On top of that, we know in May that Paul sends a text to him saying, Mom found some pills. We need to talk. Mom found some pills and we need to talk. Another pressure from Paul and Maggie on him. And if you look at the texts, the weekend of the ball game on June the 7th, and those are in evidence, Alec is not at the game. And he's texting back and forth, and Maggie's like, don't come if you feel bad. And he's like, well, they're make, you know, I think I can get a late checkout. And then he's like, at 1 o'clock, they made me leave. I submit to you, it's a reasonable inference they were on him at this time. They were watching him like a hawk. Opiates, the most powerful of withdrawals. And everything's coming to a head, including this as well. Run out of money, running out of options, doesn't get paid in any significant way until December. Already stole the fares fees and spent that money in two months. Has an expensive pill habit, and accountability and consequences will do undo everything in his life, everything that is his self-identity, everything. The only things that he cares about. He doesn't care about lying to his partners and his family and his friends and his clients if it will delay accountability for him. He'll do it in a heartbeat. And all of that is about to be undone. Are you at a good stopping point? Yes, sir, Your Honor. All right.
Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take one hour and 15 minutes for lunch. Please do not discuss the case.